So let's not sugarcoat this, back to school time kinda sucks, so hopefully this list makes it a little less throat punchy and instead a bit more of a light slap to the face. Anyways, links and prices to everything will be in the video description. This video is sponsored by scdkey.com. Stop spending more than you have to, save big on game keys and software licenses at scdkey.com. So considering you're not putting all this shit in your pockets, let's start off with this sweet backpack I found from Vashi, cause I think... It's just simple and neat. <laughs> see, see what I did there? Cause the tag says simple and ah, you get it. Anyways, from what I can tell, it comes in 13 different colorways. I went with the charcoal, but it was a pretty hard toss up between this and the black or green versions. They all look pretty nice. The exterior material is a lightweight waterproof polyester and there's a bunch of really well-placed pockets. For instance, starting with the front, there's an adjustable flap that expands a bit if you're a pack rat and it closes using strong snap-on magnets. The first pocket compartment is an open air with a carabiner to hold your keys or whatever. And then in the front of that, there's a zippered pocket. For the main compartment, we've got the same expanding snap-on magnet thing going on, as well as a drawstring closure function, just in case you need to pack something like a sweater or jacket on top of all the books and crap you already have in there to really jam it full. Inside at the top, there's a decent sized zippered pocket, maybe for your phone and charging accessories. And underneath that, there's a laptop sleeve for your 15.6 inch laptops and another zippered pocket that runs the length of the laptop sleeve for like, I don't know, papers and shit, you tell me. <laughs> and then there's a mesh zipper pocket for like pencils and pens, highlighters. Students still use highlighters, right? Maybe your glasses or shades. And then underneath that is a couple more organization pockets. But beyond all that, look how much bloody room there is inside this thing. You could fit a fridge in there. On the outside, there's a couple of pretty good sized water bottle pockets. And on the shoulder straps, there's some nylon straps that let you clip on even more crap. It's comfortable, it looks good, it holds a metric shit ton of stuff, and it's under 45 bucks, 40 bucks, one of the two. Now, just in case you're thinking it's time for a new laptop, I'm gonna suggest the Lenovo IdeaPad X1 Carbon. Why? Well, I got about 14 hours battery life in a slim and light package. It's got a 14 inch 1080p display at up to 400 nits with great color gamuts, 16 gigs of RAM, an Intel i7-8565U, upgradable super fast 256 gig NVMe SSD, webcam privacy guard, a fingerprint reader to keep your moron friends out, and of course, that glorious red nip right in the center. The typing experience is effortless. The hybrid touch style trackpad's awesome. Audio out of the speakers is pretty dang good for a slim and light and under load it's as quiet as a fairy fart. There's plenty of I.O. ports including two Thunderbolt 3 ports and it's designed and tested under US military specs. It's just simply a good performer with great durability with a footprint and weight that won't slow you down. Next at just under 90 bucks for 500 gigs of external storage is what I think's the best bang for your buck portable SSD, the Seagate Fast SSD. So maybe you've saved a bit of cash on a laptop by going with something that has a small internal storage storage capacity, maybe you just need something to stash all your work separately, or maybe you just want to make sure you've got a backup of everything in case you spill your pumpkin spice latte all over your computer. Whatever the case, the Seagate Fast comes in 250 gig up to two terabyte capacities. It's one of the top three fastest portable SSDs in sequential read and write speeds according to 95Mac.com's testing. It's both cheaper and faster than the overrated Samsung T5. There's a USB-C port and it comes with both USB-C to USB-C as well as USB-C to USB-C. USB-A cables, it's compatible with both Mac and PC and comes with two free months of Adobe Creative Cloud Photography Plan. It's just an awesome multi-purpose portable SSD, so save yourself some time looking and, and just get this guy. Now you're gonna want some audio pumpers, so at a hundred bucks, I'm still gonna recommend the JBL Flip 4. To this day, I still think it's one of the best sounding, most durable, small portable Bluetooth speakers out there. It comes in nine colors, it's IPX7 waterproof, supports JBL Connect Plus, which allows you to connect up to a hundred of these guys together for some crazy audio you know, but let's be honest, literally no one's connected more than like four at a time. It's 3000 milliamp hour batteries rated for 12 hours of playback, but with my usage, I usually get about nine to 10 hours at most because I'm pretty close to max volume, like 90% of the time, but it sounds great and it's compact form factor. It makes it really easy to toss in a bag. Love this speaker. So Bluetooth speakers are a must, but you probably want some headphones or earbuds too, right? Well, at an early bird sale price of only 70 bucks, I'm gonna recommend the Palm who slide true wireless earphones. These set an Indiegogo record for most back TWS earphones and 
I get why. First off, the audio quality is fantastic. It's clear, it's rich and full sounding across the range, and there's even a bit of soundstage there too. The case obviously slides open and the earphones are snapped into place and held by magnets. Music calls and voice assistant activation is touch controlled, which I haven't had any issues with. Now under the hood, Pamu decided to use the brand new Qualcomm QC C3020 chip, where most mainstream brands are still using the old Qualcomm CSR86 series chip probably to save money, increase profits while still charging us more. So basically you get better battery life, a stronger connection and better audio quality. I mean, you gotta love that new new. The earphones alone will give you a solid 10 hours of playback and with the stacked 2000 milliamp hour battery in the charging case, you get an additional 60 hours for a total of 70 hours. And even though this is a bit of a gimmick, if you ask me, you flip over the case, double press the button on the back and now you've got a portable wireless charger for your phone. You'll be hard pressed to find anything that gives you this much at this price. And even after the campaign's over and the price jumps up to around like 200 bucks, you're still getting more for your money compared to most mainstream brands. Now, if like me, you don't see yourself using a wobbly earphones charging case to charge your phone and everything else on the go, well, I've got a couple of things for you. At 20 bucks is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank from Ramos. This is a really good quality, well put together battery with a smooth aluminum casing. The power button has built in charge capacity indicator lights. You can charge to and from it through both the micro USB and USB-C ports. And there's a couple of USB-A ports for some extra flexibility. It takes about five hours to charge the battery and it'll dual output it up to 2.4 amps. Now, if you needed something with some power delivery behind it, as well as quick charge 3.0, for an extra five bucks, you can grab the newest version, which supports up to 18 watts of power delivery, so I'll try to remember to include links for both options in case you're interested. And to complement the power bank and basically anything else you need to charge or transfer files to and from, at only 10 bucks I found this awesome universal cable from WMZ, and the reason I picked this cable is twofold. I hate the ones that come with multiple adapter tips because then you're only charging one device at a time. But with this cable, not only can you charge three devices at a time, you can also use it to transfer files, which is a feature most universal cables don't have. Now on the product description page, it claims it'll do quick charging, but I've tried with a handful of different quick chargers from different brands and it just won't. So take that as you will. It is only 10 bucks after all. And from what I understand, chatting with real bona fide students, apparently finding enough wall plugs around campus for all your crap is like hunting for truffles. So for 25 bucks, you can pick up this Belkin three outlet surge protector. There's a couple of USB ports for charging your phone at up to 2.4 amps, and there's a little lip at the top to hold it. But there's another version for only 20 bucks without the lip, and it's a bit more compact with a 360 degree rotating wall plug. Personally, I'd go for the $20 version because I honestly can't see anyone using the lip to hold their phone, but I've been wrong in the past. Either way, I'll have links for both. Now, something often overlooked is lighting, and I'm not talking about desk lamps. I'm talking about these little portable USB LED lights that you can either plug into your laptop or a power bank to use as a flashlight. And for only eight bucks, you get eight in a pack with assorted colors. These things are great because when plugged into a laptop, they're nice and short, so you don't have this super tall stick poking out above your keyboard. They produce more than enough light to see what the hell you're doing, but not enough to piss people People off around you and they've got a pretty low power consumption not to mention if you lose one or give some away to friends or family no worries because you still have some left and finally also probably the single most important item every student needs a portable USB powered fan. <laughs> this one came to me from easy ACC a couple of years ago actually and still to this day if I'm going out of town it comes with me. Uh, you can plug it into a power bank, into a phone charger or a laptop. It produces just enough airflow on my face to help me sleep and acts as my white noise maker or keep me cool while working. It's all metal and durable as hell. Like I've accidentally thrown it across a hotel room one time while shaking out the blanket because I'm a disgusting human being. It survived getting the shit kicked out of it in my airplane carry-on bag that I stash under the seat and it's small enough to fit almost anywhere. Oh and it's only 12 bucks. Games and software licenses are expensive, but they don't have to be. SCDKey.com is an online game key and software license shop that I've legit been using as my main go-to for at least the past couple years. I've used them to buy every single game I own, Windows 10 licenses for friends, and even my own personal gaming PC. So let's say you just built a new gaming rig or maybe something a little more reasonable for dear old grandma. Just search for Windows 10, boom, Windows 10 OEM Global for under 13 bucks. Hit the buy now button and enter my promo code JB20 for 
an instant 20% discount, click submit order, and simply pick your payment method poison. Job done. Grandma's gonna be stoked. So stop spending more money than you have to and hit up the link in the description to get the goodies. SCDKey.com, the S is for savings. I, I think. So there's my list of some back to school items, but I'm hoping you guys can help out too with any other back to school items that you either personally use or recommend. So drop a comment below and let us all know. But that's it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Follow me on Instagram to see what I'm up to next. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Cheers.